Ever wonder why coastal Southern California often wakes up to misty mornings and overcast skies leading to the sayings May gray or June gloom? I know you've heard those terms. Enter the marine layer, a fascinating atmospheric phenomenon driven by the interaction of air masses and moisture. So the marine layer begins its journey as warm, dry air over the heated inland starts to rise. And then this creates a low pressure system. And meanwhile, you've got the cooler, moist air that's coming in from the Pacific Ocean that's flowing inland, and it's replacing that rising warm air over land. So as this maritime air collides with the warmer land air, it cools, condenses, and forms a thick blanket of fog known as the marine layer. And this process occurs most prominently during the spring and summer months, when the temperature difference between land and then what's happening out at sea is at its peak. So the presence of the cold California current offshore further enhances this cooling effect as it all comes together. Now the marine layer also acts as a natural thermostat for coastal regions, moderating temperature extremes by absorbing and releasing heat during the day. It reflects sunlight can see it bouncing off of the clouds and this keeps those coastal areas cooler and then it does the opposite at night it actually traps that warmth preventing temperatures from plummeting like a nice warm blanket and additionally the marine layer plays a vital role in the region's water cycle the fog interacts with all of the coastal vegetation and it provides a source of moisture water that is essential for those ecosystems to thrive however the marine layer isn't without its challenges it can disrupt travel reducing visibility on roads and grounding airplanes, but its moisture rich air can also lead to mold and corrosion in coastal structures. But despite all of these challenges, the marine layer remains an essential part of coastal Southern California's identity, shaping its climate, ecology, and culture.